and I am back. I am Sarim Khan, studying fifth standard, and today we have our new topic, and that is okay from gravitation. That is for J, and today we are going to study acceleration due to gravity. As we know, gravitation is a too large chapter. So in this point to point in each video we can study. So today's main point is about what is acceleration due to gravity. Okay, this is our question that what is acceleration due to gravity? How can it be helpful for us? Okay, those things we are going to study. So first of all, question arises: What is acceleration due to gravity? This question we have. So let me tell you. First of all, just like if any. Okay, just like acceleration due to gravity. If any object we have, if we have any object just like this marker we have, if we leave this marker just, so it will directly go down. We have this. Okay, of course it will go down, but how it will go? Okay, because gravitational force, gravity means gravitational force of Earth is attracting the marker. This we have, but let me tell you that just like object will come in motion, but this marker will too have an acceleration, and that will be the acceleration due to gravity over the marker. Okay, that is acceleration due to gravity. Okay, just like acceleration due to gravity, we can denote by g. Okay, this is the acceleration due to gravity. Any object that is left. Okay, that falls. Okay, over from little up from little height, any height h. Okay, near the surface of Earth. So, a okay. So, what happens? Only any acceleration is applied over the over that object. That is acceleration due to gravity. Gravitational force of Earth means gravity exerts an an acceleration over the object. Okay, this we have. So let me tell you, g value. Okay, g value dimensions units. G okay dimensions is same as that of a. Okay, g dimensions is same as that of a, and a we can write dimensions as. L t per minus two. Okay, so g dimensions are also L t per minus two. Okay, so let me tell you dimensions are same. Now unit is also same. Okay, unit for g is also same. That is meters per second. This is very important point to know. In, okay, g unit is meters per second. Now question arises that what is the value of acceleration due to gravity near Earth surface? Let me tell you that every object, if any heavy mass object is is present that is dropped from a certain height h, or if any very light mass object is present that is dropped from any certain height h. Okay, those two objects we have. So if the two them will drop. So both will have the same acceleration due to gravity. Okay, same acceleration due to gravity will be exerted over both. Okay, but why? Just we'll discuss that. But first of all, we should know that what is that acceleration due to gravity? That is of nine point eight. Meters per second square. Okay, that is nine point eight meters per second square. Okay, so it is very important to know that the acceleration due to gravity of Earth is nine point eight meters per second square. But now question arises that how we got to know it is nine point eight meters per second square. Of course, this question arises that how we came to know about it as such. Okay, this question arises. So let me inform you. Okay, just like g. Okay, g value is same. G is also any acceleration. Okay, acceleration due to gravity is also acceleration. So acceleration according to the second law of motion. Okay, according to second law of motion, a equals to f by m. A how a equals to f by m because we know that f equals to m a. Okay, f equals to m a as this m will come here, so a equals to f by m. So this we have, so a equals to f by m. This we can write. Now this g is also any acceleration. Okay, that is acceleration due to gravity. So only what we have to do, then we can also write g equals to f by a. But only sorry, g equals to f by m. Here it is m. G equals to f by m. Why f by m? According to this formula or Newton's second law of motion, g equals to f by m. Now only difference is this. This may be any external force, but this is surely to be the gravitational force. This is surely to be the gravitational. Gravity of Earth. Okay, g equals to f by m. Now, only what we can do. Okay, so how we came to know that the value of acceleration due to gravity is this. Okay, so g equals to f by m. Now, only how to find it out. F equals to g. 
okay m m by r square if just like here we have gravity only okay any other gravitational force will be not applied only gravity of earth will be acting over those objects okay let us take two masses the one be the mass of earth and second be the mass of any ball okay now distance between them okay r square okay it la square of distance between them be r square then this equation can be write such of course we can write now only now mass okay as it is we can write so acceleration due to gravity in such case will be okay g m m by r square so g m m by r square divided by again this mass okay and this will be the mass of the ball not mass of or this will be the mass of ball this will be solving so g okay n n now r square will come down so divided by n r square this we can get now only what we can see here this m and this m each in one times it can be cancelled so finally we'll get which is equals to g m by r square so finally what we got that the formula for acceleration due to gravity is okay formula we can get here simply g m by r square okay now here what we can see and due to this reason acceleration due to gravity on any object whether that is heavy or that is light is okay that is same for all object that is 9.8 meters per second square because here mass of that object anything related to that object is not coming because acceleration of that object is given by f okay f by m now when we'll be solving f by m so we'll finally get gm by r square now there is no any other option left where at this capital m is mass of earth so for all objects present on earth the acceleration due to gravity will be g equals to gm by r square for all objects present on the earth so but let me inform you that sometimes what it happens when we go in depth very deep to earth then its value may vary and when we go at a certain higher height so its value may vary so this we have but now let me tell you very interesting thing related to acceleration due to gravity that is just like galileo galilei's experiment we all know okay galileo galilei's experiment we call it that galileo galilei dropped two masses okay he dropped two masses two balls from a certain height h now okay the ma from same time okay from a uh, same height and at same time t okay let the height okay let the height b h okay let this height b h only what we have to do that at same time at t equals to zero what they were at rest and at t equals to t seconds they were dropped down now only what happened as soon as they dropped down so what happened imagine here's the ground so this ball will reach the ground at this time and this will be in this time now what we can see that actually here we can see that the acceleration due to gravity okay acceleration due to gravity is applied same on both mass on both our balls this is why they reach at the same time because it depends on over our acceleration whatever be the acceleration okay according to that at that uh, at that time will the balls will reach okay and since we know that they reach at the same time why same time because acceleration that were exerted over the balls were same okay that was 9.8 meters per second square so by this we can also get a proof over galileo galilei's experiment and in my next video we can also study about how the okay what is just like whenever we go at any uh, okay depth or when we go at any extra height so how the value of g may vary so this will be in our next video or next topic but close to earth okay whatever acceleration due to gravity will be exerted that will be 9.8 meters per second square so this was my today's topic thank you